In this video, I'm going to show you how you can copy data from a password protected file in Excel. I have a file of data that I downloaded from the internet. It's regarding um, Canadian farm data or farm information. Now, um, I have put a password on this so you can see that if I type or I click in any cell and try to type in there, it will come up with a message saying that you need to enter a password before you can um, can you proceed with this file. Okay, so so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close this file because it doesn't need to be open. And I have um, a file here that I call it copy data for protected uh, protect.xlms. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my little piece of code. So I'm going to macros. I'm going copy from password and I'm going to run. So there you have all my data is now copied over here. So let me show you the code and let's let's step through it. So I've called this sub copy from password. And I've declared a few things here. First of all, say is file path is a string, paste sheet is a worksheet, um, WB is a workbook, WS as a worksheet, last row as long, last column is long, and paste row is long. Now I set a bunch of stuff here. So I set paste sheet equals this workbook sheet one, and the file path. Um, this is how I go on to, I get my file path by clicking on the address bar where the file is located. So this is the actual file that I'm copying to. So this is where it's located. And then I set, um, this is the workbook that I'm copying from. I'm putting, I have it on my desktop and it's called agsdata.xlx. And then I say zero and then I say true. And this will let me do it from a uh, password protected. And now, um, I set worksheet um, from this workbook that we're uh, that we're accessing. We're doing it from sheet one. Now I define a few things. So the last row equals workbook, which is um, the workbook that we're getting. Sheets one, cells row count three, and it, I'm going down the row three and end up last row. So I'm trying to find the last row in this sheet that I'm copying from. Last column is the same thing. I'm going until to the to the left to the last column that has data and paste row equals paste sheet which we've declared is this sheet cells row count one end up row so it's we're going to the bottom of the, the sheet that we're in okay so now we copy and paste and I've done it in two sections here first I've copied um, copy the the top header row just because sometimes it's different and um so what i've done is worksheet uh range cells one uh worksheet cells uh one last column so this is taking the first heading row off the uh the sheet and then i'm saying destination equals paste sheet which we declared is this workbook range paste sheet cells and then um i could have uh, done done last column but i know that it's going to 16 so i'm going to to uh, column 16 here and now i do the rest of the data so i go uh, i go copy and paste the other data and i go worksheet cells two because we've already done row one row one and so we go um, row two column one to the last row and then we paste range uh, paste cells equals paste row one plus one so that's not we're not going over the other one and paste row paste cells uh, paste row one plus one to one so now what we're going to do so now what I do have is I go and I, I close the workbook that we're copying from because we don't need it to open anymore and then I go to the the sheet that I've copied to and I select all the columns and I go auto fit so they fit into what uh, the normal or the columns fit into the ones that are they've been copied into. And then I go N sub. So that's my code. I will, of course, include it in the description of this video. 
So this is how you copy from a password protected worksheet with VBA. Please subscribe.